This January, Disney Plus is the home to new stories, new journeys, and new beginnings, with Disney's national treasure, Edge of History, as well as Star Wars Bad Batch Season 2 for the older kids in your family. Months have passed since the events on Kamino and the Bad Batch continue their journey navigating the Empire after the fall of the Republic. I'm definitely looking forward to that new national treasure show for one of our Friday family movie nights to cuddle up on the couch with some popcorn. All these and more streaming this month only on Disney+. Plus. Hey friends, it's Mr. Jim and welcome back to Kid Short Stories where we turn your ideas into some amazing adventures. Yeah, like today's story comes to us from Alex from Seattle. Hey Alex, he sent me an awesome idea for a story and you can too. Just head over to kidshortstories.com, send me your idea. Maybe we'll turn it into an amazing adventure. Are you guys ready? I definitely am. Let's go. And Alex, don't forget to brush your teeth, shouted Alex's parents. Alex was getting ready for his first day of school. This was a very exciting day for him and any others? Have you ever gone to school? Oh yeah, that first day. It's very exciting. Sometimes a little scary. Just not sure exactly what's going to happen, right? Yeah, is your teacher going to be nice? Are there going to be friends there? Do you know anyone in your class? Oh dear, so many different things. But Oh wait, but what about all the amazing new things that are waiting for you? Like, there might be new friends and, and a new playground to play on and... Oh, new teachers that are hilarious. Starting a new school year may feel a little nervousy, but it's also super duper awesome. Well, uh, Alex was getting ready for that very first day of school when he was looking for his shoes. He was looking everywhere. His closet, underneath his bed, even behind the toilet, which I don't even know why would he even look there because... How would your shoe end up behind the toilet? But, you know, I guess when you uh, have something lost, you look in every single place possible, right? Yeah, well, finally, he heard the best news ever. Alex, your shoes were in the car. Hurry, we got to get going. You found my shoes, said Alex. He was so relieved. They were his brand new school shoes that he was going to be wearing to this first day of school and oh he forgot that he left them in his car he had actually put them there the day before so that they wouldn't get lost and then he forgot that he put them there uh (laughs) this day is not off to a very good start i hope it gets better but unfortunately something crazy is about to happen as alex climbed into his parents car he jumped in his seat clicked the buckle and off they were on the road thankfully his school was pretty close to where he lived so it wasn't going to be a super duper long drive and on the way they were going to listen to their favorite music what do you like to listen to in the car maybe while you're going to school do you have some favorite music you like to listen to or or maybe even some kid short stories podcast right yes well parents did you know that we actually have different podcast feeds yeah so kid short stories is one feed and then there's a ton of other stories on our spyology squad podcast and our kids animal stories podcast so you have to make sure that you're subscribed to all three of those so you don't miss out on any of our awesome stories well that's what alex was listening to on his way to school he was on spyology squad but he also liked to listen to the stories to catch the latest updates on what dr stinky breath might be up to But then Alex looked up at the clock in his car to check the time, and he said, Wait a second, are we, we're not at school yet? Are we going to be late? I'm not sure, Alex, said his parents. Uh, This red light feels like it's been red forever, and look, all the other lights around here are all red too. Alex pressed his face up against the window in his car and saw exactly what they were saying, Every single stoplight had turned red. Even the stoplight, you know, of the other direction. Like, nobody was 
moving. He leaned up even further to see the next street and the next street and the next street. Every single stoplight had turned red. Nobody was moving. What is going on? Meanwhile, high up in the clouds up above, Dr. Stinky Breath was laughing that his evil plan was actually working. <laughs> Purple ninjas, please tell me, how did you pull this off? I can see that every single stoplight in the whole city has turned red, and nobody can move anywhere. <laughs> no school, no work, no nothing. Only bad traffic. I love bad traffic. <laughs> Well, boss, uh, we actually programmed this robot to walk around the whole city, and it has some special laser eyes. When it looks at a stoplight with those laser eyes, it instantly turns it to red. Wow, Purple Ninja, that is great to hear. How can we make sure that this robot knows exactly what to do and where to go? Can we make him go to other cities as well to take over all of the stoplights? Oh yeah, boss, we're able to control him from way up here in the blimp. And, uh, looks like he's running a little bit low on battery, so he'll need to stop for a charge somewhere. But, uh, once he's fully charged, then we'll have him head over to the next city. I love it, Purple Ninjas. <laughs> it was now 8.07, which means that school had started seven minutes ago. Well, actually, it wasn't only Alex that was late to school. It was the entire school. The whole school was late, and so they weren't even able to start on time. The teachers, the principals, everybody was stuck in bad traffic. Bzz, 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 bzz. Alex heard a buzz coming from his backpack. He reached in, unzipped the top, and pulled out his walkie-talkie. This is Alex. Alex, this is HQ. We need your help. Based on your GPS location, it looks like you are stuck in the same gridlock of traffic that many of our other agents are. Yeah, I knew there must be something crazy going on, so what's the mission? We believe that there is a robot walking around the city with laser eyes, able to control the stoplight. Holy smokes! I see him right now, said Alex. It was, it was true. Alex was looking out the window and there it was. A giant robot walking down the street. Boom, boom, boom. Alex, we need you to chase down that robot and see if there's a way that you can stop him. Hurry. Before even Alex was able to get a word out of his mouth to ask his parents, they knew that he had to go save the day. Go, Alex, go! They shouted as he jumped out the door of the car. But then, all of a sudden, the robot started to do something very strange. It was like opening up a compartment in the back of it. It was like reaching around into its back, and it's... <gasps> it's pulling out a charging cable! Alex knew exactly what he had to do. That robot was standing over by a whole bunch of charging stations, you know, for cars to charge themselves, but it looks like that robot needs a charge. Alex knew immediately what he had to do. He had to get that cord. He ran over as fast as he could and grabbed one of his net blasters out of his spy pack. All right, I think I only got one chance at this, said Alex as he aimed it up and... The net blaster flew out and grabbed onto the charger right out of the robot's hand and he was able to pull it away. Oh dear. Now the robot sees Alex. Run, Alex, run! Alex took off running as fast as he could with the robot close behind. <laughs> Alex was running as fast as he could with that robot's charging cord in hand when all of a sudden... robot ran out of batteries holy smokes i didn't realize that robot was just gonna run out of batteries that fast but alex did it 
He grabbed his walkie-talkie, called it an HQ, and HQ was able to reset all the stoplights to their normal working order. And everyone continued on their day. Except... What in the world happened down there? Why do I see so many green lights? Uh, but unfortunately, our robot ran out of batteries. How did that happen? I thought you said that he just needed to charge it up. Well, unfortunately, the charging cable for our robot is missing now. Well, get another one. Just get it charged back up right now. Unfortunately, that was our only cable. Purple Ninjas! Wow, great job, Alex. Holy smokes. Whew, what an incredible first day of school. I hope the rest of your day goes a little bit better than this crazy traffic -y morning. The end. Hey, friends, I need your help celebrating some birthdays. Drum roll, please. Brrr. Happy birthday, Finn! Wow, who's turning five years old? Finn is the best big brother to his little sisters, Autumn and Paisley. He loves listening to kid short stories every day, Spider-Man, and is very good at drawing, dancing, and telling his own stories. Wow, Finn, I'm so glad that we get to celebrate you and your big day on the show. Happy fifth birthday, Finn! And next up, we have... Happy birthday, Banks, who's turning eight years old. Banks is a great big brother to Callahan. He is really good at reading. Whoa, oh yeah. And he wants to be a storm chaser when he grows up. Wow, Banks, you must be super duper brave. <laughs> well, I'm so glad that we got to celebrate you and your big day on the show, Banks. Happy eighth birthday. Well, my friends, I hope you all have a super duper day and I'll see you on our next adventure. Bye. This January, Disney Plus is the home to new stories, new journeys, and new beginnings with Disney's national treasure, Edge of History, as well as Star Wars Bad Batch Season 2 for the older kids in your family. Months have passed since the events on Kamino and the Bad Batch continue their journey navigating the Empire after the fall of the Republic. I'm definitely looking forward to that new national treasure show for one of our Friday family movie nights to cuddle up on the couch with some popcorn. All these and more streaming this month only on Disney+.